All right, now it's fun time to look over on the GTP, the hybrid GTP cars, all getting torn down here ahead of the Rolex 24 and also the Pro GTD entries as well, the factories. So let's take a look, amazing technology on display. Start off here with our pole sitters at Action Express Racing. Nice and organized as always, as you would expect. Might be the pole winning motor getting changed here for race motor in this Cadillac DPI V oh, yeah. sorry Cadillac V series dot R try and remember all the letters and dashes and you name it here we have Wayne Taylor racing with Andretti servicing the front of the Air X 06 suspension off not a completely bare tub, but they're stripping things down. You see the little green hat there, letting everyone know the car is clear in terms of hybrid electric energy, everything being good. So engine changes are pretty much normal today. Here you can take a look at that phenomenal 2.4 liter twin turbo V6 Acura engine. Want to notice something really super cool? The heads are integral with the block. There is no cut there for a head that is removable in and of itself. Huge technology at play developed by HRC US. Continue here, the Wayne Taylor Lamborghini, Porsche 963 teams. mentioned this last year but it's a really smart thing done by I believe all of the GTP manufacturers knowing that the batteries slide up into the chassis if you have to do that instead of needing to remove the entire floor they've all split their floors in two you see the diffuser straight there you see that clamp oh, just a little bit of uh a bit of cleanup, a little bit of repair there. A lot of rocks and other things getting fired beneath the car. It's not uncommon for a little bit of damage to get done. And when you're doing 200 miles an hour and pounding around racetracks, it is to be expected there would be some repairs needed. Let's keep rolling here, moving down the line. Our friends at Porsche Penske Motorsport, very good at covering things up. Some teams are of that culture where you throw a blanket over what might be exposed, put a panel to block off the front of the chassis where the suspension is carried. Other teams, not as much. Again, just each team has its own culture. One isn't better or worse, it's just how they choose to go motor racing. BMW here as well, and another gift. Have this beautiful 4.4 liter I believe twin turbo V8 motor going to the back of the BMW M hybrid V8 fit yet again now you know why I absolutely love this day each year you get some phenomenal looks at the cars and the hearts of the motors not only the front of the BMW but you can see with the exhaust obviously that's a lot of heat getting moved so you do get a little bit of discoloration but again this is just the normal part of motor racing you expect here we have the leading edge of the floors feeding air in right here at the base coming in coming along under and then exiting up and out we have more engine changes going on here new part getting ready for installation See Tommy there, great mechanic from Japan, who tells me this is uh, his last race. He's headed back home to Japan, needs to be with family, go back to working in Super GT. Just telling you, some great characters, great people here in the IMSA paddock. Yeah, oh, someone's playing with their transmission. That is so cute, just outside, letting it out in nature. Look at that. This is where we put all that pole winning horsepower to the ground. So cool just to see folks taking great pride in their work, doing it out here 
And this is the great Ricky Cameron. Holy cow! It's making a, Well, we're just walking around and showing folks these amazing cars. That's what we're doing, Rick. It's stuff we love. Ricky and I were young mechanics at one point in time. Worked on the same team. Love that guy. We have Proton. They had a little bit of a crash yesterday in qualifying or leading into qualifying. So got some repair work to do. But how cool is this, right? Swan neck of their Porsche 963 mounted on this whole rear structure. Here's the wing profile shown to you here. That is what is helping to make negative force. This is pulling down, creating a vacuum and pulling the car down. It's not necessarily being pushed down from the top to make down force. It's actually suction being created, low pressure flying below this wing profile and pulling everything to the ground. But here we see the team working hard. Another cool thing, right? Wrapping. Not hip-hop, y'all, but actual vehicular graphics and wrapping. This team having crashed. We've got some repair work to do and or updating some other body work here. Looks like a spare nose being prepped but this too needs to be done up with all the correct livery. And here's evidence of our guy, Neil Johnny, the hoops he had yesterday. You can see car did its job, everything it was supposed to do, reducing the impact, lessening the amount of G's transferred into the cockpit, the driver. This is, <laughs> this is glory, y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you. I know this every day that I have the best job in the world because it is my job to come here and show you amazing vehicles like this under construction, under preparation, development, repair. And like I said, we also have GT cars here as well on this side. And look what we have. What? Coyote V8, 5.4 liter V8 motors from Ford. Those sound amazing. This part of the Proton team as well. Proton running this exquisite Porsche 963 and this brand new Mustang GT3. Whole structure of the car here. How is this just not amazing? And I think a little star linkage maybe as well. But yep, car getting prepped. Dampers here. Look at this. How cool. And what else can I show you? Beautiful livery as well on this. Might have seen some of this from an earlier walk, but it never hurts to do it again. Our pals here at Vassar Sullivan. What kind of mess is Bosey getting over into over here? Bosey, are you drinking Loctite again? You're drinking Loctite again. I thought we thought we talked about that. I had a friend, a mechanic, who no joke would put Loctite on his pizza. That is an interesting combination. Um, he was not the most normal person I've met, but we loved him. Did a feature on the front suspension on the Lexus last year. Here's the heart of the Lexus, this big old stonking V8. Just the bestest. You know, let's take a, a little walk around the back the GT. D Pro and GTD side here, inside the Lexus. What do we have here? Oh, we've got Corvette, factory Corvettes. Look at this, motor change as well. All the crazy cool suspension, waiting for a motor to go in on the back. Cherry picker and cradle. Beautiful motor. Just, uh, uh, look at this. Aren't we fortunate to have ingenuity like this? Exhausts rising, going up and out the back. Our friends at FAF. We got, is that a motor or is that a person? Or is it, do we have both? Well, where's Hinch? What is he doing? Probably sleeping. We love him. And they're listening to old Will Smith music, which is, yes, uh, 
I don't know. Look at this. This is like a prototype in GT clothing. Just phenomenal. Aston Martin again. I think we're going to... Hi, Rico. Rico Nault, longtime amazing mechanic, team manager, and many other things at Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan. Paul Miller Racing, their BMW M4 GT3, your reigning GTD class champs, stepping up to GTD Pro. Did a feature last year, one of my favorite things, look at that exhaust, that articulated exhaust, turbo inline six motor, that's just wild. Speaking of wild ponies, we have gorgeous Ford Mustang GT3, brand new, and our friend from iRacing. Kind of on the down low, scanning yesterday the Corvette Z06 GT3, and now getting images of the Ford Mustang. We're not saying those cars will be in iRacing. We're just saying that someone from iRacing is taking photos of these amazing new GT3 models. Uh, you can come to your own conclusions as to why. Here we go with the front of the car fully assembled. It just looks mean. And that's what you want, right? You don't want to race a car that looks happy. You want something that looks fierce. This certainly achieves that. And we will close looking at the back of the Mustang GT3. And you know, we already said hello to Ricky Cameron dear friend, former teammate. Why don't we say hello to his older brother, Steve Cameron. We get both Camerons in one video. <laughs> Hi, Steve Cameron. How you doing, Kiwi? Good, hey there, mate. Good. Saw Rick earlier. Oh, yes. Keeping him straight, hopefully, that guy. Good. Get all the info you can out of good old Ricky. So, this is our tour. This side, my favorite day. All the toys are taken apart, get to see everything that makes them so special. Everything here from Ford all the way down to Cadillac, everything in between. There's a reason why IMSA is blowing up and it's because great cars, great tech, great access. Uh, <laughs> I'm about as happy as I can be.